I'm heading home, bitches. I'm heading home. I'm heading home. Country roads. Alright, I guess that's the end of the episode. I think. I don't know. I know I said I wouldn't do it, but... You know. You know. You know. You know. <laughs> I'm trying to annoy you. You know that. But you still get annoyed by it. Alright. She's gonna kick your ass. She's she no run. Oh god. Shit. I thought you was dead. I thought you was dead, John. Huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know. You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him. I left that life, just as you left yours. Told you she was gonna kick his ass. I can take care of myself, John. Wingar got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike, and he didn't try it again, nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you, and like me. Good. Like a kid growing up without a father. He's not like the milkman. That ain't fair. What is fair? <laughs> well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair. You know that. We tried to change. I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Good. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. Oh, Jesus Ain't Christ. blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed and no cattle. It's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Consider because the you that look you like you've just vomited. Race, man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figure really? out which one to use. Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark Out now. to McFarland Ranch, I'm guessing. We've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. We've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learned to cook. Yes. Didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. Oh, God. Man, we can't be doing none of that. This is YouTube, not, you know, others. Don't 
Lottery. So, can't get, get none of that. You are the reason I hate the morning. See? The sun isn't... The sun was barely over the hills, and you're leaving your wife to go... Just, just spend time in bed with her. God damn it. I hate sleeping, but I like just laying in bed. Someone may take that wrong. Ready? Mm. Let's haul out. Screw them. Come on, boy. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is another <laughs> dumb Rodney. A weird weeds thing. Fuck it. Uh. How you feeling, Jack? Come on. Hello. Kid, tell me. Hey, Pa. What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. Please, you only just got home. Uh, Almost. My horse can't keep up. Let's go. Mm, neither can anyone else's horse. Come on, we'll oh, race. Was it something to do with Mr. Dutch and Bill? Why Ooh. you went away? Who told you that? No. I kept hearing people say their names. Th that's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where are they now? They're gone, mm, son. Six feet under. We won't be seeing them again. Can I leave this town? Ugly as hell and six feet leave. under. They was just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. Come on, Jack. Whew. Not so fast. I'm not that fast. You're like right there. Ooh. So, you ready to learn about herding cattle? I've never seen you herd anything, Paul. Apart from the odd pack of drugs. The McFarlands were good to me, and I helped them out in return. I learned a few things along the way. Wait till you see their ranch. It's what ours will be one day. I read in the newspaper their ranch is dead. Soon it'll just be factories and businesses around here. You shouldn't believe everything you And that's read. running into the ground thinking, itself. Maybe I might be a businessman. I thought you wanted to be a writer. Well, I could be both. A rich industrialist who writes novels about the old west <laughs> on the side. You can be whatever you want, son. But for now, let's concentrate on getting some food on the table. Unless you're planning on striking literary gold in the next day or two, that is. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was just the best Beatles line I could the put ranch. in there. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. Apart McFarlane. from, dear sir or madam, could you read my book? Come on, easy up now. John Marston. There's a face I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> All right, calm down, calm down. Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. Right to Bonnie. All right, all right, calm down, calm down, calm down. All right, Jack, you're gonna have an important job. Hi. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all Shh, over, Mr. I, Farley. I just about After killed a fire, reverend for that. Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, yeah I'm a little bit. starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. Yes, that's your horse, kid. We know. Come on. Jesus right. Christ. Let's get a move. Remember the tutorials at the start? 
<laughs> oh man, I hate this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, Bonnie. Are you coming yeah. with us? Yeah. You're steering at the ass end. I'll give you a hand to get them moving. Yeah, I'm trying to keep them moving. Easy. Good luck, John. Come back to see you sometime. So, I'll, I'll what try. Happened? Last I heard, you were headed for some exotic escapade in Mexico. It's a long story. Too long to tell without a drink in my hand. Move. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson. Move. Let's just say the Bill and I settled on this. Slow. Come on. So, is this your boy? Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. Ah, the arrogance of you. He gets a little fur on his lip and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. Move. Whoa. Ba uh, <laughs> I can't help but How's to say it. Life? She's well, I think. She we wanted to kill me. To talk yet. Well, you know. I'm glad you're back together again. It's going to take some time. We've all been through a lot. Come on. Get Jazz back in line. It's not a train coming, right? <sighs> Oof. I've been crossing that line a good few times. Looks like you got him under control. I best get back to Paul. Nice to no. see you. Again, oh Mr. God, we're gonna lose all of them. Funny, you don't. Whoa, we're on, boy. damn boy. Jack, we need to move him across the river. We need to do what? And what what what? Yeah. This is a rock star game made between two thousand and God damn bird. <laughs> One outside just flew right past the window and I was like, what the fuck? Okay. But this is a rock star game. If I get my hat wet, I'm I'm dead. Good job, son. Just lead him straight up the hill towards home. Will do, Paul. Come on. Move your ass. Come on. Come on. Now we're just about there. Move. Hey. How does anyone steer a herd of cattle? In real life, because this is hell. Yeah, not up the mountain, no oh, bloody hell. Whoa there. We need three people. That's what we need. All right. How far away are we? quite a ways. I thought that was like a halfway point. Wasn't. Totally wasn't. Yeah. Not down the Wait, creek. They look like rustlers. Stay back, son. I'll hold them off. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. How many are not dead? Okay, you. You ain't gonna leave here walking, friend. You're dead. You're dead, and yeah, thank you. I think that's all of. Jack, wait there, I'm coming. Yeah. I had an itch. You all right? It hurt. You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared on it. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. <laughs> Jack, head left. Apart from the, the graves. Home. I know where I'm going, Paul. There you go. You know better than me. Other way, other way, other way. Whoa. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. 
Get back. Get back in line, Bessie. Back in line. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, 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 ooh. Back in line. Go faster, Jack. Far away now, just over this bump, this tiny little hill. Move! God damn it! Come on! Fucking cows! Move! Move! Thank Christ! Yeah. We're now on the. Thing. Move! Move! All right. Yeah, we know. We know bed. what a cow sounds like. You jackass. Right, straight on. Here we are. I'm proud of you, son. Thanks, Paul. That's got to be more exciting than those books of yours. Oh, uh, sure. If nearly getting killed is your idea of exciting. Nice yeah, work, sometimes. Son. We made it. You did real good out there. I'm just going to close Go this up. Hit your horse away from me by the stable. Just close it up. Don't That's you, dear old man. So we're ranchers now? Yep, I guess we are. Where's Rodney? There we go. Come on. Come on, easy up now. There you go, Rodney. You did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. Cows herded. Fifteen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I do what I'm about to do, close this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. I should just go through the normal door, shouldn't I? Close it. Thank you. Open. Close. Oh, fuck it. Hi, cows. Just gonna close this up. Yes, moo. See, you're much nicer than the ones I met before. One of... One of your friends tried to... Uh, gore me. And it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun. I want to go back to bed. <sighs> Ew. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking Vomit. the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> not yet. <sighs> exactly, honest, not yet. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have <laughs> been. Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done We're. okay. We're. I look at Jack. Okay. I look at him and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn if everyone... John! Okay. Yeah. You have got to go deal with them. 
They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. <laughs> of course, my angel. Wait, get out of there. All right, all right. Come on. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I tell that to my cat, not. Jesus Christ. You're a shotgun. Kill more. No, it's not. There's less flying pieces of crap than this in World War Two. Is that all I needed to do? <sighs> Fucking hell. Finally. Now about that stew. Got half a mind to kill half the people in this ranch. I was about to say town, but ain't no town. Where do you think you live? McFarlane Ranch? 